Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this cactus, deserty, watercolor themed cake. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with my cake already iced and covered in fondant. If you need to see how to do those things, I will link in-depth videos below. I have a six inch tier sitting on top of an eight inch base and you can see that I have it propped up on this bowl. This is because I'm going to be painting the bottom of my cake with some watercolor and I don't want the drips to really pool onto my board. I've mixed just a tiny little bit of teal food coloring with some food grade alcohol and I'm going to start going around the top of my cake. You can see I'm stippling it on and then letting a little bit of that color pool and start to drip down. I used a clean q-tip to help me control the drips. If I didn't want the drip to go all the way down, I stopped it with my q-tip and just kept going over any spots where the color was pooling and I wanted it to just end there. I didn't want it to go all the way down to the board. I kept going over certain areas with more color just to give it more texture and then blotted the whole thing with a clean paper towel. To make my cacti, I use these templates. I will link some of the ones I use below. I ended up kind of freehanding some of these shapes as well, but I just wanted to make sure I had a variety of different sizes and different shapes. I rolled out some white fondant and then with each of my little templates, I cut out a couple using my X-Acto knife. I let those dry pretty firm before I painted them and I mixed different colors of green and blue with some food grade alcohol. I'm going to have all the materials that I used in this video linked below. For each piece, I pretty much stuck to the plan of going over the whole thing with a lighter color and then building up the color darker and darker just off to one side. To make it darker, I would take the original food gel coloring and just add a little bit of my food grade alcohol to water it down. You really want to do like the stippling motion because that's going to give you more of a texture. It's not going to look flat and it's going to help you achieve that watercolor look. To help blend the colors together a little further, I would take a clean piece of paper towel and just dab it over each piece when I was done. Once they were all done, they looked a little something like this. You can see that I've used different colors for different pieces, but they all have the same general vibe of the shade transition. For the spikes on each one, whatever you want to call it, needles, I guess. I used white food coloring with a fine tip paintbrush and just painted on a bunch of little X's. Here they are all complete. When I added them to my cake, I used a little bit of shortening on the back of each one, but you could also use water. And I just lined them on the bottom of my bottom tier, just making sure to mix up the sizes and I didn't want to have two of the exact same ones next to each other. To make the little pink flowers for my cacti, I rolled out some light pink fondant and then used my little flower cutter to punch out a bunch of those. And then on my badly stained foam pad, apologies, it's not dirty, it's just stained, I used a balling tool to thin the edges of each one and then I attached them onto my cacti. And to give them a little more of the watercolor look so they match the theme, I just mixed together a little bit of pink food coloring with my food grade alcohol and brushed over each one. To finish off the bottom tier, you can see I'm spooning on some almond flour for the deserty sand look. You could also use some brown sugar, but I thought the lighter shade of the almond flour blended well. I use this sparingly because almond flour may as well be gold. It's so expensive. So you don't want to go too ham on this. To make my longhorn skull, I'm using a template. I also had a reference picture for this. So I'm going to link both of those below. I cut it out with my X-Acto knife and then traced over the features before I removed the template. I used a really small amount of brown food coloring with my food grade alcohol to just trace out those initial features. And then I started going over everything with a little bit of black.
I used a q-tip to help me like smoke out the colors and really I just used my reference photo so if you have a boo at that you'll have a better idea of what I was trying to achieve here. For each of the horns I brushed the entire thing with the brown and then that black. I know my hand is like blocking this entire process so I'm very sorry for that. But then I started to go over with a slightly darker shade and just created these lines going from the skull all the way out to the point. I added the skull to my cake using a little bit of shortening and then added some sugar flowers. I promise sugar flowers will not be involved with every single cake I make, but for this one it looked really cute so I decided to do it. I've made them a couple times already on my channel so I will link a video below showing you how I made these. They're really easy. They're not like perfect flowers, but they do the job. I started attaching more of my cacti to the top of my cake. I used a piece of dried spaghetti with a little piece of fondant on the back to get them to stand up. I added more almond flour to the bottom of my top tier and then to finish the skull off I added this really thin snaky of light brown fondant just as like a rope coming off of the horn and then added a couple little tiny feathers. This was just like a lemon shape that I cut out and then you can see I've scored the lines with my exacto knife. I did one for either side, two feathers and then colored them with that watercolor. I did blue, purple and pink. I added some little balls of that brown fondant above each feather and then painted them gold so they looked like beads. And this was the final result guys. I absolutely loved this cake. I thought it looked super classy and pretty. Thank you so much for suggesting a cactus themed cake. If you have any more suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will add them to my list. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you wanna, you can subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.